you want to understand robotics in real terms and not just by sending motor signals high and low and looking at the robot so there are two main books that i would suggest the first one is modern robotics mechanics planning and control by kevin m lynch and frank c park the second one is springer handbook of robotics second edition by bruno siciliano and osama khatib these two books provide you a holistic view about the field robotics because it is a multidisciplinary field and it contains a lot of things inside of it not just programming not just ROS and simulation so these two books are good but I would recommend for you if you're just starting out to go through the first one modern robotics first because there are a lot of resources online video lectures and a community available on the internet regarding this book and specifically the Kevin M. Lynch professor is also teaching through the video lectures on Coursera I guess. Coming to the second book, the Springer book, that is a big huge book but it covers a lot of robotic stuff from basic robotics to advanced robotics, swarms, nano robots, medical health robots and things like that. But you don't need to get through all of these concepts at the very start. So how you should approach a problem? So let's first categorize the content of these books. Mechanics Control Dynamics and Sensing Estimation and Development. You might be thinking that mechanics part, dynamics and control part is not from programming and sensing estimation and development is on the programming side. So when you go through these books, you will find out a lot of complex 2D and 3D maths. But why do we need it? So here is the thing that you need to understand. For making any algorithm be implemented on your robot requires a mathematical model of your robot, which is derived from kinematic model and a dynamic model. So that kinematic and dynamic model is utilized in programming and algorithms are then applied according to those models. So here's the breakdown. You get these books, you understand them. You don't need to go through every single content at the very start. You should focus on a project Let's say I have a mobile robotics project. I will suggest another book for that. But to get a basic understanding how robots work, we'll first go through these books. And when you understand motion planning, motion control, mapping, sensing from these books, then whenever you look at any robotics problem, you will have an understanding how this is going to be solved. Let's divide the main important things that you need to extract to understand robotics. That is kinematics, dynamics, motion planning, control systems, navigation, and mapping. So let's come to the main point. How I learned robotics in an actual manner from these books. Although these books does not provide any single piece of code. Then how did I learn it? Here are the steps. I looked into the theory. I took the Kevin M. Lynch lectures and I went through other supporting books as well. But it was all about understanding the mathematical concepts. Then I went into the libraries of MathWorks, MATLAB, and as well as ROS packages in which there is a C++ implementation for ROS and for MathWorks, I think that is in MATLAB language. There are implementation of kinematic models and dynamic models of robots. So you understand how these uh, robots are actually moving in the simulation, how these theoretical concepts are actually implemented in the code. So you build the connection, understand them, and then you utilize them in your simulation that you created, and then you implement on the real robots. And if you find out this very difficult, believe me that it took me around three to four months to just implement a simple go-to goal behavior of a differential drive two-wheel robot. So here's another tip that will help you. The first one is I want to work with mobile robots. I will look into the Kevin M. Lynch book, for example, and I will see that how the mapping is done. Now mapping is indoor mobile robots. So I will search about any book that is indoor mobile robots and then I will look into what is indoor mobile robot and what is the process of mapping. I will find out that for mapping we need a sensor and we need a localization feature in a robot. And for localization I will look into other books and there are a lot of books for localization then I will move towards filtering sensor fusion and then the whole problem is going to get solved. It is a long process. It's not a small process if you want to learn to the very base of it. So hope you understand the process. It's not a simple big book. Then a chapter of the big book brings you another big book. <laughs> then from that big book, you move toward another book. And uh, that's how you understand robotics with the help of books and implement it to build a connection. Otherwise, the knowledge is going to get deleted in two to three weeks. 
if you're just reading the book like a self-help book i will list down a lot of books in the description you can go through them and if you have any question you can ask me